What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing the Big Four upgrade. We got some GP battery terminals. We got some copper lugs, some sky high heat shrink, and some regular eBay heat shrink. We got this uh 50 foot roll of sky high car audio um, zero gauge wire. And I just crimped a lug on and I threw on some heat shrink just to see how it was going to look last night. So I'm going to use this crimp. I got this off of Amazon for like 60 bucks. And it works pretty good compared to the other ones. So let's go over to the Trailblazer and then we'll see where we're going to start. Okay, so first off, I think we're going to put the battery terminals on. And the reason we went with these instead of the ones on the side, I think it's too tight in here to have all these wires running everywhere. So, and I think this looks a little bit better. So first of all, then we're gonna start on the ground side. And the plan is to run uh, ground from the battery post to this uh, bolt right here on the alternator bracket. And then we're gonna run one here to the body right here. We're also gonna remove this and clean it up real quick because I think there's still paint under there. And we're also gonna run another ground somewhere back here. Can't see it, but it's down there. And then for the power, we're gonna run power from here to there. Let me try to start with this one here. I'm gonna run the bolt into the lug and then see how much we need to cut. This is it. Ran into the bolt. And then I think that one's gonna go here just so the other one could go from here to down there. And then from this one, I think we're gonna use this bolt. So roughly I'm just gonna give it a little extra just to be safe. Maybe this much. To like the G. I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna mark it real quick and then I'm gonna take it off and cut it. Right, so these are the cutters from Harbor Freight that I'm going to use. Then I'm going to cut it like right here. Alright, so now I'm going to take the blade and measure real quick. All I did was put this up here and then I used the blade to go around the insulation. So I'm going to try to tuck this wire in there. Okay, so I'm using the vise to hold the cable in place because this side is pretty pretty heavy so I couldn't show you guys, you know, sliding it in there. But basically you slide it in there, you kind of make sure that these uh, dies are level because you do have some flop in there and then you just crank this so you can no more. And then you open this up. And then you get this. Now I'm gonna get one of these sky high um, heat shrink. Slide it over and I'm gonna heat it up with the heat gun. This one's over to the side a little bit because over here's gonna be flat and then over there's gonna be at a 90 degree angle. So it's up to you how you wanna do it. But I try to put the sky high with the Sky High um, logo over here, facing the right direction. So I'm gonna bolt this up to the alternator first. I'm gonna crank down those 15 millimeter um, bolts so that could be done. And then I'll connect it over here at the battery. Okay, so that's one right there. Next, I think we're gonna be doing this one. So since I know that I'm gonna be running power and ground from the back, so there's gonna be two cables coming through here. So then this one is gonna go with the ground over here. And then the power is going to go straight to this. So basically, I'm going to route it from here to here to this post. It's going to, it's going to go like that. So let me get one of the crimp sides done. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is going to be the body ground. Just didn't record it because it's the same thing for all of them. It's just that it's kind of complicated to record and crimp and all that. So let me try to install that. And then... We'll get to the other one down there. Okay, actually, before we even uh, get the 
body ground on we're going to remove the battery and we're going to hit this with the wire wheel and then we're going to try to reach down there and get the other wire get the crimp and everything so we can measure from down there up here so we can do the last uh ground wire for the matter i'm keeping the positive battery post Uh, but for the last uh, ground cable, it's going to be back there. You can get to it through here. I ready to remove the bolt. The little cable right here. So I'm going to make another, uh, another zero gauge. I'm going to put the lug on it. And then I'm going to bolt it down. I'm going to wire wheel it, but I'm not going to show you guys because it's hard to get back here. And then I'm gonna run the cable up here, throw the battery back in. Then, yeah, so that's all the ground's gonna be. I'm gonna come up and go to the battery. All right, so I got that spot clean. I use some uh, sandpaper. And since this uh, ground cable is gonna be super close to the headers, I'm gonna put some of this on there. And then I'm gonna put split loom. This is the only split loom I have right now. This should work. So. I'm gonna slide some of this on, put another heat shrink uh, at the tip. I should have done that before I put that one. And then I'm gonna run this one on there. We're done with the ground side. Ground to the alternator bracket, and then ground to the chassis, and then ground over here to the body. So now we're just missing the power to the alternator. And I couldn't really show you back there, but it's in there. Now we're just gonna get to working on this one and then we'll tighten everything up and turn on the truck. All right, so that's it. We got the alternator cable in. Make sure you use the copper lug that uh, McMahon provides so that it fits properly. So once again, there's the ground from here to the battery, from here to the frame, to the chassis, and then from here to the body, right here. Okay. and then power from here to the alternator so let me get the keys real quick and we'll turn it on Working on that side of the blazer, running all the wires and stuff. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXC Films. And we'll catch you on the next one.